January 2000. We have seen supply chain evolve quite a bit in those 16, 15 years. And it is still evolving. So some of the best CEOs today, they come out of supply chain management. As this skill is becoming more and more critical for business, basically supply chain professionals who do not fully get on board with the supply chain discipline itself, they are wasting a golden opportunity. Second key point is really that today, many supply chain professionals, they're trying to reconcile two opposite ends. On one hand, they hear about what is happening out there from companies like Alibaba that uh, Chris was just talking about. And then they go back to their company and they see what is happening inside their company. And they see two diametrically opposite ends of what, is the world, what the world looks like. And basically, the, there is a tantalizing array of possibilities. And they're really trying to reconcile this. And if they cannot reconcile it, really, they cannot have an impact on the business. And if they can reconcile it and slowly form a path within their company, then they can really have a huge impact on their businesses. And the third key point is about the latest advances in the supply chain management. So as executives respond to the fundamental changes in the business world today, with the globalization, with the technology, with the Internet of Things, digitization, robotics, a whole lot of new technologies becoming available and actually commercially being used in supply chains now, there is really a wave after wave of transformations which, in, which is being unleashed by the board of directors, by the CEOs within their businesses. So what that does is basically most companies are really grappling with resistance to that transformation. There is a transformation uh, fatigue, you can call it. And every business transformation becomes a massive challenge latest advances in supply chain management are really geared to bring everything together to create successful business transformations for the CEOs and the boards. So all these three themes are really interrelated. I'll talk about them one at a time. Uh, first, I'll talk about role of supply chain management. That's very simple. Uh, as I said, role of professionals, supply chain management professionals, is evolving, as I see. Um, from my personal, ex personal experience, when after having less, left Booz Allen and Hamilton, I started Global Supply Chain Group. My mentor, who was uh, chairman of one of the biggest companies in uh, Australia, he said, what, you're going to do supply chain? We don't even allow you in the boardrooms. Uh, and today, of course, every board is talking about doing a massive supply chain transformation. So uh, it has evolved quite critically. And today, some of the best CEOs they come from within supply chain management discipline. Uh, supply chain professionals who do not learn the latest trends and teach these to their CEOs and peers in their companies, they are wasting a golden opportunity. I am choosing these words very carefully. Uh, it is really, if you are a supply chain professional, in the end, it is really your prerogative and duty, in fact, to go and teach what is supply chain to your CEOs. Here is a developing thesis. I only developed it about four weeks ago when I was presenting to APEC forum and to business leaders there. And the thesis is this, that the current trend is this, that co companies such as Apple, Amazon, Zara, Uber, Airbnb, and I'll talk a bit about all these companies. They're all in public domain. That's the reason I use them as examples. Unfortunately, a lot of my clients don't like their name to be put up on the board there, uh, even though they are very successful. Uh, they are, the, all these companies, uh, they are being led by supply chain leaders today. Now, prior to this, say, go back 10 years, strategists were mainly the CEOs. So Indra Nui is an example in PepsiCo, but you look at a lot of CEOs, they're ex-BCG, McKinsey, Booz Allen, those kind of guys. But the world has changed. It has moved. Today, the best CEOs really don't come out of those companies. They come out of supply chain management companies. They come out of people who can integrate the supply chain on a global basis. Now, if you go back further, you can see the trends as I lay them out. And 
it's a very busy busy graphics so uh, you can get the whole present